Good evening. If you can give your name and address for the record. Haven't seen you for a while. I know. Been retired. <laughs> That's good. Came out of retired into fired, so, you know. Um, good evening. Kathleen Moon, uh, 777 South Temescal Street in Corona. Um, I live in a mobile home park, and our mobile home park was recently purchased by uh, someone, um, and we have had some challenges, some severe challenges in that, but tonight I want to address one issue, and that issue is more of a question than anything else. He has increased our um, water bill, $19.23. So I did my investigation, went on your website, went on the uh, water and power or water website and checked it all out and found, okay, that's legit. The owner before that didn't charge that. And then questions came up in group discussion. I'm kind of representing 132 homes, so that's part of what tonight is about. Um, the question came out that why, if, if, a meter is being read at the street. Is he uh, uh, um, able by law to pass through to each resident that same fee? Because that's what he's done. So I understand that, that the city goes to his spot on the street and gets the numbers, and then he takes those numbers and passes it through to each homeowner, which is 132 of us, that same $19.23. We don't feel that that's legal, and so we want, we want your help to understand what that's about. I'm not coming with a judgment, I'm coming with a question. Um, also, we were treated prior to his purchasing this property as being five persons per family, and when I went on your website again, I found that it says four, it indicates four. Uh, persons per home for an allotted amount of water. Okay, um, I get that because I know we're conserving water and we're all doing the best we can with our water. And yet, um, the water department from Corona came out to the property and says, oh, you've always been under your water usage. You can go ahead and have green lawns and lots of plants, water, water, water. Well, personally, I have a huge issue with that because I do my very best to be as conservative as I can. And to kind of give you an idea, my water bill for my particular unit was only $8.40 for the month. So that tells you how frugal I am. That's inside and outside. And yet I had to pay 25-something um, or 27-something because of that additional 1923. So part of, part of my misunderstanding or not aware is are we actually a mobile home unit or are we a resident? And so sometimes when things are given to us, we don't know if we're actually a home or, you know, term, terminated as a single family home or if we're a mobile home on rented property because we get conflicting, um, conflicting stories everywhere. So it's, it's not unified, I guess is my thought there. Um, and then the next... Okay, your, your time's up, so kind of speed it along. That's Sorry. okay. Um, I guess what I'm really looking for is just answers to my questions. We're all suffering over there, and we're... we're I, I know a couple of residents... There's other things coming, and yeah, so I know a couple of residents had reached out to me, and I had reached out to the Mobile Home Association, who reached out to the owner who had been gone at the time and then came back. Daryl, would they go to through the... Um, Fair Housing Council or through um, the Helping Hands, where, where would they get some assistance to get some clarity? Probably Fair Housing would be the first place to start. They can help them work through some of these issues um, because it truly is a civil issue. But if they start there and there's something outside of the boundaries for a landlord-renter relationship, they would be able to help them. So there's the Fair Housing Council in Riverside. I would start with there. Okay. And then if you're if you don't get the answers, then just drop me an email and we'll hook you up whoever needs to be hooked up. Okay. Okay. Thank Eugene. you. Yeah, go ahead. There's also um, in working with a couple other mobile home parks, particularly one off of Green River, they w have a good coalition and we work with the state. I've been out to a couple of the meetings where the state has come down with the California Mobile Home Association mm -hmm. and are great to give direction. I would certainly reach out um, there because th they have more information. We don't 
have all the details because mobile homes are done through the state so things are a little bit different so when you ask that question we could Jonathan will answer your water question but that may be different answer than another question because of mobile homes so it's you're in that funny gray area that it depends on what question you're asking and who you're asking what you're determined right and it depends what the lease or agreements you have on the property so yeah and sometimes I feel like we get the runaround because he said she said they said who did right. what and so my intent is coming to you because I trust what you you know put out there and that you'll respond so um, thank you for that yeah. response and I, I we are members of the gizmo which is the right. California State Mobile Homes Association right. we are they part have, of that. they'll come down and do a yeah. community meeting and talk to all of you together yeah talk about your concerns and they can answer your questions much better but, than we but check locally with fair housing in Riverside I will do that okay thank